<laughs> I've skydived, I've climbed 5,000 foot volcanoes, I've skied down black runs. Amazing feeling. I've sailed to different islands by myself. I mean, I've driven cars as well. I've driven my friends' cars and they've sat in the passenger seat. And it, it yeah, <laughs> it takes a huge amount of trust, but like once you build that trust, but I don't see that any different to, you know, like me trusting you, you know, like when we're walking in the mountains and, and you tell me there's a massive drop on my left. Okay. <laughs> 120 miles per hour, I got it, got it too. What? <laughs> but I probably shouldn't really say that. <laughs> if you're blind, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> and if you're sighted, don't be so bloody clever. <laughs> if I can say anything, on these trips, blind people will actually do more adventurous things than sighted folk. I mean, we're out in Cuba. Um, and when I offer the group the opportunity to skydive, none of the sighted people want to do it. So, you know, there I am as a, as a blind tour manager and guiding six blind people towards the helicopter. And, and, and you know, like the, the sighted folk don't want, to, don't want to get involved. When you're jumping out of a plane, you know, with the wind and the, and the elements, you know, just bombarding you from, from, from every side. And you're just like, thinking, wow, you know, I'm, I'm up here, you know, miles above the ground, and if I pull this bit down, you just like sweep off like a bird and like this. And it was just such an amazing feeling. It was just a feeling of like, you know, I'm, I'm free. Yeah!